Boulevard was a really um, dangerous in, in <laughs> yeah. So we've been here, we've been open 32 years. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a really fun business. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. it's, it's fun not just because you're dealing with with something that, that gives so much satisfaction, you know, mm -hmm. people are really passionate about their right. music and, and authors and things like that, but being in a business like this allows you to explore and experience what makes other people passionate too, right. not just the, the things that you might run into on your own. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's, it's exciting, there's so many things I never would have read, there's so many things I never would have listened to. We started out with 600 square feet next door. We sublet mm -hmm. from someone who had a frame shop. Mm -hmm. And um, we actually just had a curtain at the back between our two stores. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were really naive about going into business. You yeah. know? Um, when we went down to get our, our, to first apply for our tax, you know, sales tax kind mm -hmm. of thing, they do a little interview, and by the time the guy finished, he said, are you sure you guys want to go into <laughs> business? Maybe you should think about doing something else, mm -hmm. you know. Was the store um, popular from the beginning, or? It was successful from the yeah. beginning, yeah, yeah, it was really amazing. And has it been con successful continually? Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, um, it's amazing how expensive it is yeah. to keep doors open on a store. Mm. We're really lucky. We would not still be in business, but we were able to purchase the building about 15 years oh, ago. Oh, okay. And that is the only reason we're still here. If we were paying rent to someone, we would have been out of business long ago, like most other bookstores. Yeah. You know, it's the one saving thing for, for so, most small businesses. Yeah. Next door is started as a record store, we expanded into the books. It's really very much a browsing bookstore. Mm -hmm. um, everything, you know, we have books from a dollar to, you know, right. I, I would say $20 average. There are books mm -hmm. that are more, but, but yeah. that's the basic range. So where do we put things that I don't want to mix up that don't fit right. in appropriately there? Right. You know, things I want to put a higher price on or they're mm -hmm. too fragile. So we spent years boxing them up. Okay. So th that's what this satisfies, and then as um, the internet started becoming more and more popular, mm -hmm. you know, we belong to a couple of sites that are aggregate books, book sites mm -hmm. where you sell. Right. So we can't have books that are online mixed up with books that are just okay. in the shelf. If something gets mixed up over there or misfiled, right. it's fine. But as everybody knows, if, yeah. if you have things computerized, they have to be where you expect right. them to be. We're interested in anything that, that you mm -hmm. can listen to or read. Yeah. You know, uh, not particularly concerned about format. We're concerned about the quality of the, the yeah. artist or the author. You can read this. It says Franklin's miscellaneous pieces. Mm. Okay. Is that the Franklin? I think Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> oh, wow. There was only one book ever yeah. um, published during his lifetime. Everything mm. else was published afterwards. Yeah. Benjamin this is it? Franklin could have actually touched this book. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it is so cool. I, I, I have no idea how we got this. It's not the <laughs> the absolutely most valuable. Yeah. Wow. So this this is, is 19, uh, I'm sorry, 1778. Yeah. This just showed up on your shelf one day and you're not sure where it came from? No, because when we buy, yeah. we buy large amounts of books. We mm -hmm. don't always go in and, you know, just pick out a book here and yeah. there. Sometimes we go in and buy estates. Right. I can't remember which one I got this from. When you're growing up, and when you learn to read, it's, oh. it's an avenue that you have absolutely no, no idea that you are going to run into all these worlds, um, mm -hmm. all these ideas, all these uh, imagination uh, imaginings from other people mm -hmm. that then become part of your own psyche. I mean, you get mm -hmm. so involved, you know from the right, reading, right. you get so involved in a book, you get so involved in music, everything else just disappears. All of the stuff that you see in here, mm -hmm. all of these collections, 
were things that people felt really passionate about and that carried them through good times, bad times, whatever. It's just, you know, it's satisfying and a solace and, mm -hmm. and, and it just feeds your soul. And, yeah. you know, what can you say? It's music and books. It's, it's, it's the human creativity put into a form that we can hold in our hands, take home and enjoy with them. Mm-hmm. What else? <laughs> what could be better? <laughs>